Hello friends, how's it going? I'm Alex Arx and today I am bringing you my exotic weapon guide for Galahorn in Destiny. Now, yes, I finally got Galahorn. I did a little video a week ago, um, the moment I got it basically. And yeah, um, I've waited so long for this thing and it's an absolute beast. Just look at it. It looks so nice. It, it's explosive. It just destroys everything. So without further ado, I think we should have a look at this. So here it is. This is Galahorn. You can see here it's a rocket launcher with solar damage. Rate of fire is similar to that of Dragon's Breath and Truth. Um, our blast radius, once again, isn't too high compared to the other two exotics um, with Truth and um, Dragon's Breath giving you a bigger blast radius. However, we do have a semi-high velocity stat. Stability is a little bit low, but we can max out the reload speed on this. Um, with a magazine size of only two, you're going to be reloading this thing quite a lot. So you want to get that stat buffed up as much as possible. Um, rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation, and shells fired from this weapon track their targets. And it's these two perks that really, really make Gallahorn absolutely amazing. So here's the kind of the the upgrade tree for it. Um, and you can see um, I've picked the speed reload here. Um, this uh, helps buff up your reload stat. Like I said, you've only got two rockets in your mag, so you're going to be reloading uh, quite a lot, so that helps you. Um, I have stuck with the initial um, kind of uh, soft launch, uh, you can see there, um, basically because anything else gives you a penalty to velocity to increase stability and to be honest I like uh, a high velocity rocket because it's going to hit your target quicker and the tracking is going to you know you're just going to hit your target a lot faster and do the damage obviously quicker uh, from a DPS point of view and you can see there wolf pack rounds this is really the thing that makes this uh, rocket launcher an absolute gem um, there are other rocket launchers out there that have a cluster grenade effect when they blow up However, these cluster grenades just drop to the floor and then explode. Whereas these are tracking cluster missiles, which obviously seek their target. So you're going to get maximum impact damage from every single one of these. And it is just ridiculous. I don't know how many tracking missiles actually pop out. It might be like something like seven or nine, something like that. I've never really had the opportunity to count them. But each of those will also do solar damage, which is what this rocket launcher does. Um, so when it comes to your nightfalls, um, if you've got a solar burn, this thing will dominate and destroy absolutely everything. Um, so uh, this is this is really one for your nightfalls and definitely for your raids as well. Very handy in the vault of glass against the against Atheon at the end when you've got the damage boosts on. Um, so a prime example is is when this door opens up, you will see three enemies behind it. Um, they will not last very long at all. And uh, I mean, I'd already. I'd always heard how good this gun was and kind of seen it firsthand, but actually using it, it's something else. I mean, I am doing. I mean, uh, those were. I think there's at least two um, yellow enemies behind that door, and they just got one hit by a rocket launcher. Now, it does play totally different to Truth. Um, Dragon's Breath, really, I don't know it. I don't like Dragon's Breath that much. It's it's a cool rocket launcher, but as far as being a an effective exotic, it really isn't. So for me, my choice of exotic rocket launcher between lies between Galahorn and Truth. And Truth Truth is more of a big heavy impact, big hitter, single round kind of rocket launcher. Um, it has that aggressive seeking ability, but Galahorn just has out and out DPS just from the fact that they have the tracking rounds. A direct hit will give you about two to three thousand damage um, with the rocket and the explosion and then the cluster grenades each one is going to impact and do about four to five hundred damage each. So you have basically doubled your damage and you're doing between five, six, maybe even seven thousand with a single rocket. Um, I mean you can see there I just took out a Colossus 
without really having to think too much about it. You know, look at the way the rounds track. They're fairly aggressive. The main tracking on the main rocket is pretty lackadaisy if you compare it to Truth. Um, but still, I mean, you can't really complain. I mean, just look at the way it just wipes out mod mobs of enemies. It's just ridiculous. And definitely this is a gun that is always going to be in my raid setup, always going to be in my Nightfall setup now, uh, with regards to PvE. Now, for the PvP side, um, you know, it is it is really a toss-up between this and Truth, and I would probably say that Truth is the better of the two from a PvP perspective. In PvP, in the Crucible, your opponents are real players. They're going to be moving around fast. In PvE, the enemies, they're all programmed, they're all AI, they move relatively slowly, um, apart from Vex that can obviously teleport, but human players will move a lot faster and be jumping around. Um, so, really, you need aggressive tracking, and that's what Truth gives you. Um, it will, more often than not, hit, hit your target in the Crucible, and it's got the proximity detonation as well, so it only has to get near to an enemy, and it'll blow up. Blast radius is massive, deals a lot of damage, so you can take up groups quite easily with Truth. Uh, Gallahorn, because the tracking isn't so effective, um, you know, y you may hit your target, you may not, just because of the way the rocket's going to track a little slower than Truth will. So, I'd always go with Truth in a PvP setting, but definitely with regards to PvE, your raids, your nightfalls, Gallahorn is an absolute beast. I, I even used it uh, on a nightfall where there wasn't a solar burn, uh, the one that's just passed this week, that was arc burn, but I was still using Gallahorn because it is that powerful versus everything else. Uh, you know, it, it's, 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 a, it's a king slayer basically, it's, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. I know I'm singing a hymn that quite a lot of people have probably already sung, but I mean, just look at it, it looks so nice and shiny. The damage, when you're backed in a corner, it's just ridiculous. This is a level 30 um, story uh, mission, uh, daily story, and n never really struggled. I mean, obviously the only issue is, it is heavy. You're not going to have constant ammo for it, so you can't main it. But for these situations here, where you just need a quick bit of relief, Gallahorn is your man for that. And it's, it's just ridiculously good. Um... Definitely, if you can get one, get one. And definitely, it's de <laughs> yeah, just use it. It is a beast. But yeah, I would probably take Truth over this in PvP, but Gallahorn every day of the week for PvE. With regards to where you can get it, well, Zer did sell it week two, I think, and he hasn't sold it since. And I doubt whether Bungie would actually sell this thing. Um, it's not a gun that's ever going to be rebalanced because it's not overpowered in PvP. And they only rebalance guns based on PvP. So PvE side, this thing probably isn't going to get nerfed or changed at all. But it might not reappear in Xur's inventory. So your best bet is going to be your Nightfalls and your daily... Well, not your dailies, your weeklies, um, your raids and, you know, legendary engrams as well um, if you're feeling lucky. Um, anyway guys, this has been my little guide on Gallahorn. I have been Alex Arx, preaching it pretty much. I, I've had to wait 7-8 months for this thing uh, due to RNG and now that I've got it, I am never letting it go. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, I have been Alex Arx. I hope you've enjoyed this exotic weapon guide about Gallahorn. Uh, please uh, rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already for more of my content. And I will see you in the next video. I will see you later, friends. Uh, bye!